guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another marvel's avengers video now in today's video guys is another episode in a continuing series of what's on this week in marvel's avengers because of course we all know that a new war table blog comes out every thursday and it details into us what is happening this week in the game now of course one did come out a couple of hours ago so i'm recording this video now for you guys so i hope you guys enjoy it make sure to leave a like comment share and subscribe if you guys did and now let's get straight into the video. Now, before we get into the War Table blog, guys, there's just a little bit of a news update that I wanted to share with you guys. So apparently there is an issue regarding Thor's unworthy outfit, um, and they are aware of this, and they have done something about it. So they will be temporarily removing this outfit from the marketplace, and will be providing refunds to those who have purchased it and didn't receive it. So they've also uh, refunded anyone uh, who's purchased of it. Um, it they've re basically refunded them 700 credits. So uh, all you have to do is relaunch the game and see this is re uh, reflected. So uh, yeah, if you had a, if you had trouble with that one, guys, um, I'm pretty, pretty sure a lot of people did. Uh, there, there you go. It's, it's fixed for you for the time being, at least. Hopefully that skin does come back at some point. Now onto the War Table blog this week, guys. Now it's pretty much, uh, there's not too much to say about this one. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any big news spoilers about this one, unfortunately. There's nothing that, sh you know, showing that the, uh, you know, any news updates are coming or, uh, you know, the cloning labs are coming as well. Like there's nothing that, you know, the cloning labs aren't here yet, unfortunately. Um, ho I'm hoping that we get to hear some news, guys, uh, very, very soon. So starting off, guys, they said uh, they have acknowledged the feedback that we have received that they've received uh, on their social channels regarding what you all want to see new content as well as some content suggestions and quality of life improvements. Uh, they've seen all the comments asking for the next hero, Kate Bishop, new uh, missions to play, new villains to fight, and new places to explore. Uh, they're excited to tell us all about it when the time is right. We appreciate your patience and understanding. Now, I know a lot of you guys will not be happy about this. I know I'm I'm starting to get a bit over it as well. Um, you know, waiting and waiting and, you know, not having a lot of, uh, you know, information. Um, you know, them not telling us, you know. I understand they want to tell us, you know, when the time was right, when they're ready. But, you know, there's a, there's a point where it becomes a little bit ridiculous. Um, but hopefully, hopefully, very, very soon. Hopefully next week. Um, but we'll have to see. Uh, and then probably next week I'll be saying the next week after that, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, they've also taken note of the highly requested changes and are continuing to make progress against them every day. For example, our reassemble campaign replay feature is currently in testing. We're working on a fix for uh, item stats being blocked by viewing gear pieces. I have noticed this. I'm sure all of you guys has as well. Uh, I can't wait till this gets fixed because it does get quite annoying because you can't see. I think it's the defense and the uh, heroic ratings. Um, so you know, have to try and like figure it out for yourself, and it gets very annoying. So uh, hopefully. Yeah, it's, it's nice that they're working on that. Um, so first of all, we have the weekly updates, the iconic mission uh, and mistaken identity, which of course uh, is one of Thor's iconic missions. Um, the minimum power level is 25, uh, plus three power level offset. Modifies a famine, overshield, and capacitor, and the reward is epic gear. The next one is conditional green, which of course is uh, Hulk's iconic mission. Uh, this one is a minimum power of 120 and a five plus level power offset. Uh, and then modifies our Resurgence, Famine, Outbreak, and Helix. And a guaranteed reward is Polychron, uh, po sorry, Polychoron. And I don't know how to say that word. Let me know how you say it. <laughs> like, let me know uh, how do you pronounce that in the uh, description below. I think it's Polychoron. Uh, and a hero-specific gear as well. So I'm guessing this is probably legendary. I haven't checked it myself just yet. Um, but there you go. Uh, we also have the Priority Harm Challenges. So the weekly first completion reward is Avengers Assemble 2012 number 2. Um, and the minim minimum power level for that one is 15. Uh, with Collider and Torpedo modifiers. The minimum power level for the next one is 100, of course, with a plus 5 power offset. And the modifiers are Resurgence, Torpedo, and Capacitor. And then, of course, we go into the Mega Hive, which really hasn't changed too much. Uh, this week's modifiers are Pressure, Maelstrom, Oasis, and Goliath. Um, I'll go through all the uh, modifiers a bit, later on, a bit later on, guys. Uh, and of course, the weekly rewards, uh, as you progress through the Mega Hive, rewards uh, stat as basic gear, resources, and small amounts of cosmetic currency. The uh, more missions you survive, the uh, resource drops increase. As you near the final mission, you will get better gear and artifacts are awarded uh, more often and increased chances for patterns, nameplates. When you complete all eight Mega Hive missions, you'll be rewarded with exclusive goodies reserved for this gauntlet, uh, including significant amount of high quality resources, of course. This is the uh, much-anticipated 
uh, exotic gear, um, which I have not got one of yet. So we'll have, I'm hoping to at least. I'm starting to. I'm starting to get confident with the Mega Hives, guys. So I'm playing on. Maybe completing one this week. We'll have to wait and see on that one. So the modifiers are, are game changers. So these are the basically collider. Equip any gear that provides additional particle damage or increase the rate at which particle status meter builds up. Uh, to really heat things up when the collider is active. Uh, torpedo is best to select heroes with strong ranged attacks or equip gear high in the precision attribute to best take advantage of torpedo. Don't forget enemy range attacks also do more damage, so make sure to dodge and evade incoming projectiles. Capacitor, Thor's already impressive pedigree is excerpted when Capacitor turns up the lethal lethality of his lightning infused attacks. Make use of his intrinsic Odin Force ability to lay waste to foes in a manner worthy of his heritage. If Thor didn't have to be OP already, he is more OP now. Uh, if Thor isn't your hero of choice, make sure to equip the gear with shock perks or use other heroes like Black Widow who also have shock induced attacks in their arsenal. And of last, uh, we also have Resurgence, which is quickly eliminating a, uh, a single foe as opposed to balancing around between multiple enemies or trying to control groups with area of effect damage will help make surviving resurgence easier. Pressure, recovering willpower by any means necessary is key when pressure is active. Utilize takedowns, regenerative native ca uh, containers, and skills that boost the chance of enemies dropping regen packs. To ensure that sustaining cr uh, critical injuries isn't always a recipe for a quick defeat. Famine uh, is our last one guys, focusing on takedowns and careful usage of the regenerative nanite. Uh, cont containers are key to survivability when famine is active um, because of course it's you don't get as many regen pack drops as you normally would um, if any really now we have the marketplace update guys so if you haven't already uh, taken advantage of the marketplace sale uh, it is still 50% off guys it's still 50% off for uh, emotes takedowns and nameplates um, I don't know when they're gonna change it yet um, so yeah it make you know make time of this while it's there guys next up we have uh something about the patch notes um there is no patch this week unfortunately but it is all all it says is patch version 1.3.5 is well underway so maybe next week um that would be two weeks since the last patch that might be uh you know could be a good sign um again we'll have to wait and see guys um unfortunately again just continue to wait I know you, like I said before guys, I know you guys are probably sick of waiting just as I am, you know, just as everyone else, but you know, I think it's, I think it's going to be worth it guys, and I know I sound like I'm simping, I, I know I sound like, you know, I'm being, you know, I'm being opportun, I'm being an opportun, I'm, a, I'm an opportunist guy, like I'm, I'm, I'm just hoping and praying, like, I, I understand your frustration guys, don't worry, I completely understand it. Um, but I think it's going to be worth it in the end. I really do. It's the same what happened with Battlefront 2, as we all know. Um, this exact, we didn't have a lot of communication from DICE at that time. Um, but of course we know it came around and it came around in a big way. And I think this game has the potential to do that as well. Of course, uh, if you didn't know guys, they had a weekly uh, dev stream last Friday. Um, so they um, apparently played some war zones and some drop zones. So if you guys wanted to go check it out, there's a lot, there's a link to the live stream there. Like I said, I'll, I always put a link to this blog in the description below guys. So you can guys can go check it out for yourself. Next one up, we have the community challenge. Uh, team up with global player base to meet mega goals and unlock rewards. This one is uh, defeat 125,000 clones, either abomination or task taskmasters, and the reward is team plate, uh, team nameplate, sorry, number 37. And next up is just the community spotlight, guys, where it shows off some pictures that the community has uh, put in, and they're uh, they're pretty damn good, as I have to say. And this has actually given me an idea. Now I know uh, you know a lot of people do you know top five players or top five fails, but I am thinking about doing like a top five you know uh, photography kind of thing, like a like a picture contest kind of thing. So if you guys would like to be interested in seeing that, um, so all you guys have to do is you know you don't have to insert a clip. All you have to do you know. There's obviously a photography mode in the uh, game itself, so you guys can, you know, make a pretty cool picture or you know, like something like that. Uh, submit it, and we can definitely do like a contest or something, uh, and you know, maybe even do some prizes. If you guys would like to see that, let me know in the description below. I think that could be a lot of fun. 
But that's all I got for you in this video, guys. I'm sorry there has been, like, you know, pretty much no news. Um, I, again, again, guys, I'm sorry. There's, I, and there's nothing I can do. Uh, you know, we just have to wait. Um, but of course, guys, keep in touch with the channel, guys. Keep subscribed. Uh, you know, like. You know, keep keep an eye out, guys. Because as soon as I, you know, as soon as any news drops, I will make a video for you guys. So don't worry about that. But thank you so very much for watching this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, thank you so very much for watching, and as always, happy gaming.